The other big talker today, what a difference a day and a few hours make, Bradley. Cold outside now. Yeah, we got up to 78 officially in Lafayette earlier this afternoon, and temperatures have been falling rather quickly ever since. Upper 40s to lower 50s currently. We're at 50 here in Lafayette, but it only tells half the story because winds are quite breezy out of the north, uh, currently sustained at 20, so that's given us a little bit of a wind chill factor out there for sure, and that's going to continue through the rest of the overnight period. Now, as far as rainfall totals today. Some of us picking up a decent soaking one to two inches. Other areas not picking up quite as much, but the models did a good job pinpointing that there was going to be a thin line of some higher totals kind of moving right through the heart of Acadiana and just west of Baton Rouge and into southwestern Mississippi. And that is what we uh, did indeed see today. Uh, so a good job to them uh, pinpointing that. But nonetheless, bulk of the rain starting to push east of Acadiana, but the last bit of it still hanging on, at least for central and eastern Acadiana late this evening, even some heavier shower down towards the point. Some of that now getting ready to extend into New Iberia and places like Delcom, uh, Iberia and St. Mary parishes. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But the bulk of the rain again comes to an end, I think, before midnight tonight. Temperatures continue to fall. We're in the upper 30s to lower 40s by tomorrow morning. But again, wind chills upper 20s to lower 30s. So have those winter jackets and coats on your way out first thing in the morning. Otherwise, again, it's going to stay a wind chilly day. High temperature struggle to reach the lower 50s, but again, feeling like the 40s for the better part of the afternoon. We'll call it mostly sunny, but a good amount of high level clouds uh, throughout the day. Staying cool as we head into Saturday, but we're warming up big time by Sunday afternoon and the entirety of next week's looking warm for Mardi Gras. We'll have all the details coming up in just a bit.